Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Team Enoff. In this episode, my focus will be on the Nest Learning Thermostat. There are several smart thermostats on the market. Ecobee, Honeywell, and Nest are a few of the more popular options. We get several phone calls from customers asking us questions about the Nest thermostat specifically. In this video, I'm going to walk through some of the common settings and questions that we face. I'll show you some energy saving options, walk you through how to set up remote access on your phone, explain the Nest Sense features, and help you get started with scheduling your thermostat. Before I begin, one tip to help avoid frustration is understanding there is no back button. To navigate backwards on the menu, most screens have a done option at the end of the list. The first step is to go to the App Store and search for Nest. Tap on the Get button to download the Nest app. Create an account or log in if you already have one. On your thermostat, press anywhere on the screen and scroll to the right to select the blue Nest app circle. In the Nest app on your phone, press the plus add product button. You'll have to allow Nest to access your camera. On your thermostat, select QR code. My thermostat has already been installed, so I selected already installed. Give it a second to find your Wi-Fi and enter your password so your Nest can connect to the internet. This process took about two minutes. Select the room your thermostat is in and finish the setup. In the Nest Sense menu, there are a couple of energy saving options and things that are supposed to make the thermostat more helpful. At the top of the list is Auto Schedule. The Nest will remember temperatures you select at different times of the day. Now in my experience, this can cause more frustration than it's worth. In the past, I ended up making my own schedule. What happened to me was I changed the temperature lower than normal one day because I was hot. Nest remembered this temperature and every day from then on, I found myself going to the thermostat to override the auto scheduled temperature drop. To disable this, turn it off. Time to temperature does not have a settings sub menu. It just states that Nest is able to determine the time it takes for your home to reach a desired temperature. With early on, the heating or cooling starts early so the house is at the desired scheduled temperature on time. This is like preheating your oven. Cool to dry uses your AC to pull moisture out of your home. This can help to reduce mold in humid climates. If your Nest thermostat is in direct sunlight, it may be reading temperatures higher than they really are. This could impact how it controls your heating and cooling equipment and could cause unexpected discomfort in your home. Sunblock allows the Nest to compensate for direct sunlight. Leaf has no sub-menu settings either. A leaf appears on your thermostat if you make an energy conscious decision. Maybe you make the temperature up a little bit higher during the summer, or you keep your temperature a little bit lower during the winter. Airwave can help increase efficiency by running the blower after the outdoor condenser turns off. The cooling coil can generate cold air for an additional five to 10 minutes after the compressor turns off. Press anywhere on the Nest and scroll to the calendar icon. It's in the bottom right. You can see that I already have some events scheduled. At 7.30, I have it set to heat the room up to 70 degrees. And then I allow the temperature to drop to 60 degrees at night. To edit these events, place them in the center of the screen and press on the Nest. Select Change. Now, if you rotate the dial, you'll adjust the time of the event in 15 minute increments. When you have the event at the time you want, press the Nest again. Now you can raise or lower the temperature. Press the Nest again to release the event. If you press on the Nest without an event in the center of the screen, a menu appears giving you the option to add an event. To get out of the scheduling menu, scroll all the way to the right or to the left and press on the screen to exit.